All right, so we've got this single notice sitting on our page, but we wanna actually display all of the notices that we have in our database on the page. So the way to actually do that is to use what's called a repeating group, which is a very descriptive name, okay? Because all a repeating group is, is a number of different groups, okay? Stacked on top of one another. So when we're talking about groups, you know, stacked them on top of one another, we're really talking about cells, all right? So the repeating group has cells just like you would have in like an Excel spreadsheet, right? Um, and each one of those cells can hold its own data, right? The repeating group as a whole though, can only hold one type of data. That's something really important to remember. So the first thing that we're gonna select when we are configuring our repeating group is the type of content, okay? So we're gonna select a notice, all right? And then just like for our text element up here, we're gonna tell this repeating group where to look in the database to find the notices that we want it to display. So we're gonna click on data source to define our search expression, do a search for, right? The thing of course that we're searching for is a notice, okay? And we won't have any constraints, so that's just going to grab all of the notices that exist in the database, right? Any notice that this expression can find is gonna be displayed here in this repeating group. You also have some options here for, for changing the, the layout of the repeating group. Um, I won't go through all of these, um, but let's just preview this and see what we have. Okay, so we have our repeating group here but we can't actually see anything. Now, why is that, okay? If I click on inspect here, right, and then click on my repeating group, okay, what I can actually see, right, is we actually do have notices living here, right? This is the list of all of the notices within the repeating group. And you can see, look, we've actually got one, two, three notices, which maps on perfectly to the notices that we have in the database. So why aren't we actually seeing anything here on the screen? Well, this is akin to sort of asking to view a folder, right? The folder doesn't actually have anything to show you, right? It's only a container for other values, for other information. So yeah, we're showing a notice here, but we've actually got no means to actually show what's inside of those notices, or more specifically, the fields of that those notices, because it's the fields that actually hold the data, that actually hold value that's meaningful for our users to access. So we need, just like we use this text up here as a conduit to shine through the description field of the notice, we need text fields here to shine through the descriptions of the notices here in this repeating group. So I'll grab a text field, Okay, and all I have to do is drag it into the topmost cell and it will repeat through all of the rest. So whatever layout configuration I define in that first cell is gonna be replicated throughout all of the other cells, which is exactly the same premise as you see on Twitter when they have all of the tweets, right? Every tweet comes in the same kind of structure, but it's only the content itself that changes, right? Twitter is just utilizing a repeating group to display its tweets. Same thing that we're doing here. So if I was just to preview this, just to quickly show you, right? Now we're seeing some data, but it's just that static text value here. We're seeing three of them because that's one for each notice that we actually have. But of course we wanna define this dynamically. So I'll come in, I will insert dynamic data. Right, I can select the current cells notice, okay? So the cell in which this text element is living. And now I can access that current cells notice description field. Now, if I preview this page, we are actually seeing those list of notices here. So that's working nicely. Now, as a next step, right, let's say that we want to edit one of these notices, okay? So we've got a list here of all of the notices that we've created. 
What I'd like is to be able to click on one of these, okay, to sort of open it in another panel and then to be able to edit the description field from that panel. So let's crack on with doing that in the next video.